So as you can see, I have a Dell Vetro. I believe it's a 200S series. And uh, it's installed with Windows 7. But I'm actually going to use the flash drive, the USB of the Hackintosh to install uh, Mavericks on it. So let's, let's get started. Okay, so I have the flash drive right here. This is the flash drive that I use on the Hackintosh, how to create a Mavericks bootable USB drive. And I have my Vetro 200S, I believe. It has Windows 7, I'm gonna reformat it. I'm actually gonna turn it on. Actually, I'm gonna put the USB in. I'm gonna put the USB in, and I'm gonna power it on. Now, before uh, I even do anything, we need to get into BIOS. So I'm gonna get into the BIOS setting. And you gotta make sure that you're able to boot into a USB drive. So, like right now, I have my USB enabled, so that's good. So, I got removable drive as my first boot, so that's good. And I'm going to actually exit out, press OK, and I'm going to press F12. Um, let's reboot this. I'm going to do F12. And the reason why I'm doing F12 is because I want to get into the boot option. Uh, once I'm inside the boot option, I'm able to pick the USB, which is the USB is right there. I'm going to hit Enter. Uh, if everything goes well and you guys follow the instructions on how to create the bootable drive, uh, you will see this. You will see your Windows NTFS and you will see the USB drive of the Maverick symbol. Okay, So we're going to select it. The way that you know it's selected is colored in blue. We're going to hit enter. And this process normally takes, it shouldn't take as long as five minutes no more than five minutes if it takes more than five minutes I would say restart your machine try it again uh, because it's always hello <laughs> it's always best that you guys try it again uh, as you can see uh, it's booting up into the Apple um, I should get the prompt to pick the hard drive to install the operating system that's always a good sign but because the hard drive of the PC is already configured into an NTFS, which that's not what we want. We need to go into disk utility and uh, wipe it clean and uh, reformat it into a Mac OS journey. Okay. Okay. So again, it would it would seem like nothing's happening, but you just have to be really patient, guys. Just be really, really patient. Uh, once everything is loaded and the USB is talking to the machine the way it's supposed to do, you're going to get this nice little welcome screen. Uh, pick your language. My language is English, so I'm going to hit next on that. Again, you probably think it's going to freeze, but again, it's going to get to this. This is a good thing. Okay, again, we're doing this on a PC box. Uh, you need to go into utilities, go to disk utilities, and we need to pick, I'm going to pick the entire hard drive go to partition and we need one partition and let's give this partition a name so let's call it Mavericks uh, Mavericks Mavericks and the format should be a Mac OS extended journey okay now the option make sure it is a I believe a master boot record is what you guys want I think is a GUI ID partition so use this just to start up until yeah this is it you want a GUI uh, GU, GUID partition table press OK and then you're gonna do is uh, apply it and partition it partition shouldn't take no more it shouldn't take that long uh, if it does it's probably problems right now it's mounting the disk partition is completed awesome uh, I'm gonna close the disk utility and we're gonna hit continue. If everything went well, uh, I'm gonna hit agree. We, she, we should see a hard drive uh, with no exclamation point. Normally, if you see an exclamation point, that means that the partition, uh, the partition format that you created wasn't correctly, as well as the option part. You gotta make sure that you're doing a GUI ID partition table, not a master boot record. And uh, once you select that, you get green and just hit install. And the process is normally takes in between 23 to 25 minutes. So I'm going to let this run. And again, uh, I just want to show you guys that, uh, let me just zoom out. I, I, you know, I have 
I still have the USB. This is a PC that I'm running everything on. And uh, I'll see you guys back in 23 minutes. All right, guys. So the Mavericks installation looks like it's completed. And it tried to reboot itself. And from my experience, I, I noticed that it get a nice little blinking. It blinks and blinks. And, you know, you press the keyboard. Nothing really happens. What you have to do is you, you, you could do a Control-Alt-Delete. It's going to reboot itself. And then get back into your boot option. Uh, the reason then you want to get into your boot option is because uh, you want to boot inside your USB flash drive. And you're not going to see the Windows NTFS anymore. You're going to see the Marix. Now, the Marix capitalized letters, that's what we called it. You know, that's what we call a partition. So, we're going to pick that partition and we're going to boot to it. It's kind of strange that I actually have to do this to like kickstart the installation. I uh, got the nice little Apple symbol as you can see and uh, if everything works well it should give me the prompt to choose my language and to create my first account which is pretty cool. And we're back guys and as you can see like I said it's giving me the welcome to pick my language which United States actually the country where this machine is being installed so I'm gonna pick a install Oh, and actually install, I'm going to hit uh, continue. And uh, my keyboard is US. Uh, for this particular machine, I'm not going to do a, lo a local network Ethernet. I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to say my computer does not connect to the internet. I'm going to leave it like this. And we are going to hit continue. And it's going to say, do you make sure, do you really want this to happen? Yes, I don't want to connect to the internet. So I hit continue. I don't want to transfer any information, so I'm going to hit continue on that and don't transfer any information now. So check that off. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, accept the terms and condition and agree to it. And let's create our first account. Awesome. So I'm going to give it uh, BJ Tech News. Uh, provide a password to it. Confirm your password, guys. Uh, give it a hit if you want. Uh, I'm going to leave required password to unlock screen checked off. Uh, I'm going to set the time zone based on current location. I'm going to leave that checked off. The only thing that I'm going to uncheck is send diagnostics and usage data to Apple. And we're going to hit continue. And I don't know if you guys can see, but at the bottom right here it's saying creating accounts. So once it creates account, and it's going to set up my Mac. And it looks like we... We got a PC hooked up to Mavericks 10.9, uh, and that's pretty awesome. I think you can push out all the updates that you want. As you can see, uh, the dock is there, and uh, my flash drive is mounted. So the next thing that you guys want to do is you want to go inside your USB, and you want to run the Multi Beast. And within the multi beast, you want to basically upgrade your drivers, your NIC drivers, your graphics drivers, and make sure everything is running properly with the machine that you're using. Uh, other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, this video, video, and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.